I'm using the High Accuracy Drawing Board 6 to prepare for a plasma cutout. This is an old 1942 picture. I'm going to digitize this diagram using Logitrace 2018. My favorite selection for tracing is always tracing polyline. So it's just a matter of following the lines with the cordless pen. I have the computer monitor located close beside me to monitor my diagram. As always, if you make a mistake, just select Done, go back to Edit, toggle to that section, delete it, and redraw it. And again, save your work frequently. Once I get the outer perimeter traced out, then I switch to unconnect tracing because all the internal parts, they may not connect back up. Because this diagram is so small, there's definitely going to be some vector editing. One of the things now that I recommend is when you're drawing, tend to overdraw some of the lines. They're easier to cut off with the scissors than they are to add on and edit that vector. I show the node editing later on. It takes more editing work to add to a line than it does to just take the pair of scissors and cut it off. I also forgot to mention that the program software does allow that the diagram can be placed back on the table with alignment and you can go at the drawing again, possibly edit out some of the things you don't care for. I find that amazing because I have messed up and I have had to put the diagram back on the table and continue drawing. You can see here there will be some editing required. It's a small diagram. Some of the lines are tight. It's not a big deal. I had saved this file about four times. Now we're going to load the file, the DXF file, into a vector editing program which I use. It's called Aspire 9.5 and this is where I'll take a look at the vector. You can see here where I added to the vector, went right through the line and then just take the scissors and cut that off. The program has the capability of checking for open vectors. You don't want open vectors for CNC machines, plasma or laser, especially if you're cutting with the laser. Again here I'm adding to this vector, run it right through the line, and then take the pair of scissors and cut off that little tab. Once I get a clear on open vectors, I then save that file. Once I save that file, it's all set to be cut on the plasma. The only thing that could change now is the scaling. Now we're looking at the final DXF file. I'll just give it a quick check to see how the vectors are. Vectors are all closed. We're all set to go. I'm going to run this file through the simulator, so we'll be able to see how our cut's going to look. The next thing now is to save the file to a USB stick and get the plasma operator to cut it out. I also resaved the file in a PLT format. Plasma cutters like to use the PLT format. You can see here where we're cutting the file out. It only took about uh, seven or eight minutes to cut that uh, whole file right out. It's about 30 inches long and about 11 inches wide. I was a bit concerned with some of the cuts because they were very fine, like the reins between the man and the horse, but it turned out just fine. When the cut was removed, it required a very small amount of cleaning up on the backside with some of the slag. Very smooth cut. I was quite surprised and pleased. Here you can see where I sprayed it black and I put it on a small plaque just to be able to take some pictures.